Hey guys, so we're just going out to have a look at a vehicle for someone who repeated the story I've heard many times before that describes the crack piston. Um, you know, driving along, loss of power, and a heap of smoke out the back. So I don't normally do this, but for this one I did offer um, if they wanted me to come out and have a look at it because I suppose it wasn't too far away it wasn't close by either um, But I thought it might be more efficient for me to go out and have a look at it because if it is an engine We generally don't do engines um, We do prevention not cure So we're just going to arrive at the address soon and meet Steve and Have a quick check and see if we can work out if it is or isn't a crack piston or something else and there's a white part on the drive up there on the right so I'm guessing that's probably the place yep. okay, so I'll just turn around well right, guys so I'll edit this video and um, join on some other ones with a bit of information for you so hopefully you can avoid this happening to you because I look I hear this story a lot less these days there's the vehicle, white 120 Prado. So I heard this story many times and um, I want to hear it less, which is why we do prevention. So let's go and see what's going on. So I'm here with Steve, the owner of the Prado. So we're just gonna go and check it out and see what's going on. Start off by starting it up and see what it looks like, eh? See what's happening. Pop the bonnet actually and have a quick look around. We do anything else. Do you want to pop the key in the ignition? So I just want to be clear, I don't normally do this. Um, just doing a bit of a favour, thinking that maybe we might be able to work something out. Manual, okay. Having a bit of a general look around in case we can see anything obvious. Mm, could definitely do with a bit of a clean up and a set of injectors, I think. Okay. Steve, do you want to start it up for us, please? Oh, that's not a crack piston. That's beautiful. What is going on there? What I think's going on, you might just have an issue with an injector or something, okay. um, and it's just dumped a heap of fuel in and sort of caused that bit of a shunt and all the smoke and whatever, sort of maybe stayed open or something, who knows, it's not certainly not doing it, it doesn't seem bad at all now, yeah? Okay, no. So if you drive it, does it, you reckon it's down on power or yeah, not really? Yeah, it is. Definitely down on power, yeah? Yeah, well that's what Alicia says, yeah. Okay, cool, so you haven't driven it no. yourself? No. Alright, well what we'll do, we'll plug in the diagnostic tool, yeah. have a look what the injectors are doing. Yep. Got my assistant here with a diagnostic tool, thanks mate and um, we'll have a look at those and then we'll go for a little drive and um, see what it, well, how it seems. All right guys, I'll join this video okay, on. So we've got Steve the owner on the tools. We're just gonna pop this cover off the top of the engine. We'll have a bit of a look on the diagnostic. Um, the injector's definitely due for replacement, but nothing catastrophic looking. So there's nothing there that we're looking at to go, yeah, that looks really bad, that's causing you a problem. Haven't gone for a drive yet, but we're just gonna pop this off because they're describing a loss of power which other times when we've heard of this, it's been the vacuum line come off near the map filter or the map sensor. So hopefully that's what's happened. So we've got the cover off. We just had a look at the, um, the map sensor, the vacuum line there and the map filter. Cause quite often when people report a loss of power, that's that vacuum, these weird things where they 
think the worst. Sometimes that vacuum line slipped off, um, but it all looks okay. So we're gonna put the cover back on, go for a drive. There's no codes, no engine light. So it's kind of like, yeah, don't know what this is all about at this stage. All right, guys, so we finished checking out this Prado for Steve and his wife. And this is what we found. Nothing, no, not quite nothing. So this is what we think's happened. So basically we've done a visual inspection, checked operation of everything that would normally be operating and looking on the scan tool, having a look at all the readings. So it's done 280,000 Ks and it looks, it appears to be on the original set of injectors. They've had it since about, I think if I remember correctly, 60,000 Ks and it hasn't had a set of injectors in that time. So unlikely they've ever been changed. So the load reading's a bit high, the main injection period's quite long, the usual sort of stuff, the injection volume's up a little bit. There was a bit of a reading on number four, so four's the one I'd be suspicious on, could be playing up, but the fact that we generally don't see any other weird issues like this on Prados, it's normally, you know, with the smoke at the back, it's usually gonna be, it's not usually a turbo issue. Um, look, you know, could be there's always a you know a small amount but at the end of the day with the injectors we look at it blew a heap of white smoke right so white smoke's generally fuel um, and it seems to be all good now so it's running fine we took it on a bit of a road test seems to drive normal other than blowing a bit of smoke when you rev it and when you're accelerating it if you put the foot down it doesn't blow quite a lot of smoke so most likely injectors are going to be completely shagged um, so look what's happening with that so it's running fine diagnostic couldn't pick anything out where you'd say yeah that it, that it caused that problem so Steve's going to go ahead and put a set of injectors in it and hopefully avoid that happening again because at the end of the day um, it was a random event basically what happened she was driving along and there was a quite a sudden sort of jerk and a heap of smoke, white smoke out the back. So, which sounds like sounds like an injector got stuck stuck open, but then it's come good. So, lucky it hasn't. Well, hopefully, hasn't done permanent engine damage. It usually doesn't when the vehicle's still running fine. So, happy days. Um, so, what I'll do with this one, I'll put this video up on YouTube and. If we get any feedback after the job's done, you know, whether it's running better or ever happens again or not or whatever, I'll let you know, but that'll probably just um, be the case that one of the injectors, they're probably all not working right, but at least one of them was um, having a big issue. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You know the deal. If you haven't subscribed, do that and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on the next important bit of information. Lots more coming your way. See ya.